Hey, it's Chris Lyon hanging out with, uh, I would say, a legend of our time, Mr. Vanilla Ice. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. The second time the second time you're on the show. Yeah, man. And you actually remember the first interview. No doubt. Very excited. We're a little bit bigger than MTV. I'm sure that's probably why you remember. Uh, how are you? Well, I don't have that much short-term memory loss, you know I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the new record out. Last time we talked to you, you didn't have this finished yet. You were working on it. Bipolar. Uh, 24 tracks, I believe it is. Two, two, two CD record. Is it out in stores? It is. It's out in stores right now. Best Buy everywhere. You can get them at the concerts. We got them everywhere, man. Check it out. Exactly. We're hanging out at, uh, at Croc tonight. He's playing tonight. Now, uh, with that record, really quick, I don't want to spend too much time on the past. Um, the big thing with you, To the Extreme, your debut record came out, 15 million, still going. People are still buying that record. Do you, uh, you had Mind Blowing Out, you had Hard to Swallow that came out after that, and now you're up to Bipolar. Do you try to compete with record sales like that? Do you just put that all behind you and say, look, you know what, I'm out here to have a good time. This is me. This is what I do. Or whatever uh, I sell, I sell. I'm out here to have a good time, you know? That pretty much good answer for me um actually yeah it's not about the record sales you know like you said earlier i made a lot of money and i didn't end up like you know mc hammer all broke so <laughs> basically uh, yeah. uh it enables me to do whatever i want and that's what's great anyway because music should be about whatever you want you know it's about expression so i feel like expressing myself in this way and you know basically to be real it's not it's not set up to be a comeback it's not set up to compete against record sales or compete against anything it's just to make real music you know and that's it every record is different it's not a follow-up or anything like that man every record has its own you know vibe and everything like I worked on this new record it was a musical adventure for me I worked with Wu-Tang Clan yeah, a bunch of people you know public enemy I used to play shows back at you know stop the violence the uh, tour posse. back in the day insane clown posse my I buddy got, Brad likes that yeah. yeah 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 man we got Slipknot on the record I mean we got you know Soulfly SOD Billy Milano yeah, and I've never okay. worked with so many you know multi-talented artists before especially on one record and uh, it was a musical adventure for me it was great we, I write songs like insane what do you think of that <laughs> Like in sync? Yeah, that's my problem. I write little love songs. Hey, man. That? You know what? Artificial music is the biggest thing going right now. Thanks. <laughs> Kiss my rear end. I'm going to sell a million records because I'm cute. Yeah! <laughs> Damn shame, because it's artificial and it ain't real music. See, I don't, here, okay, here's my argument with that. I don't, I don't like Britney and NSYNC and them because they don't write their own songs. I like the songs because they're written by some of the best producers, best songwriters in the world, like Max Martin, Dennis yep. Pop, as far as pop Good. music goes. I understand so that. So that's why I like that. The best choreographers, I mean, okay. you've probably caught a Britney show somewhere, maybe... Uh, I think Britney is hot. I think Britney's <laughs> hot. I think she can sing. I think they're all talented. Backstreet, I think they're all talented. They can sing, you know? It's not yeah. like they don't have it. But they've been coached and trained, and it doesn't come from the heart. It comes from somebody else's heart. And uh, I'm really just kind of like not you know, bagging on them at all. Yeah, no. It's not my thing to do that, okay? You do your own thing. You don't want someone else telling you what to do. Well, I'm not looking at it from my personal standpoint. I'm just saying from in music in general, um, you know, that's the biggest, biggest music of our time. And uh, if you look back in music, you know, from like Janis Joplin days and all that, people used to support and the real authentic music. And it's gotten to the point where it's all commercial, it's all about the money, it's all mainstream, it's all radio friendly, and all this artificialness is, is taking over. It's the most selling music of our time today, and it's artificial. It's not the authentic artist, it's not the Nirvanas, it's not the Pearl Jams, it's not any of that, you know? It's, they, they, you know, they outsell it, all that like 50 to 1. It's amazing. Uh, so anyway, the way to get a hold of you and buy the record Bipolar, uh, is it is this VanillaIce.com? VanillaIce.com. You can check it out. It's got all the information about the tours, upcoming events, who I'm going to wrestle next or box yeah, next. Yeah, what's up with that? Anything. I heard that was a bunch of BS, just in general, that whole entire boxing match. You, you, I, heard, I didn't even see it. You lost to Todd Bridges, who yeah, was but that's the guy all, from different all strokes. Stage but that was all crap. Watch. There's going to be a comeback. There's going to be all kinds of things. But you're right. It's staged for TV. Yeah. You know, we had like five-minute breaks and stuff in between. Nice. We're chilling, you know, for commercial breaks but it was fun man I had a lot of good juice. time it's all fun man <laughs> thank uh, you man my pleasure brother have a good show thank you good luck pleasure. bipolar pick it up today vanilla ice ladies and gentlemen let me say, let me say, don't be the follower